This is Scarface, one of the hyenas I studied in Kenya. And honestly, like most male spotted hyenas, his life is pretty rough. Believe it or not, the best time in a male hyena's life is when he's just a baby. As little cubs, male and female hyenas have it pretty good. Cubs rank right below their moms who dominate the top of the clan's social ladder. More on that later. So as babies, they get decent food, good places to sleep, and plenty of care. But for male cubs, the good times don't last. See, female hyenas usually avoid mating with males from their own clan. It's probably nature's way of preventing inbreeding. So by the time a male turns two, he's got to leave his clan and head off alone, searching for a new group where he has a shot at mating. Now, other male mammals that leave their group often try to work their way up in a new group, challenging the top members and climbing the social ranks. But not male hyenas. For them, it's way tougher. First, they get hazed a lot by the new clan before they're even allowed to join. And once they're in, they're automatically the lowest ranking member of the group. That means the best food almost never makes it to them. And unlike other animals, there's no fighting or scheming their way to the top. The only way a male hyena moves up is by waiting, either for new males to join beneath him or for others ahead of him to die. And no matter how long they wait, no male will ever outrank a female. Hyena society is totally run by the ladies. Why? Well, female hyenas are bigger, tougher, and more aggressive than the males. They have to be. They protect their cubs in chaotic feeding frenzies. And unlike most mammals, where strength or social skills can help you rise in rank, hyena society is locked into this strict, female-dominated hierarchy. It's one of the most rigid systems we've ever seen in social mammals. And honestly, scientists still don't fully understand why it's this way. What we do know is that it's a tough life for males like Scarface. They deal with constant bullying, injuries from hazing, and teeth worn down early from gnawing on leftover bones. On top of that, male hyenas live, on average, only half as long as females. In the end, the best a male can hope for is to father a few cubs before his time is up. And if those cubs turn out to be male, well, their lives probably won't be much better.